Huh, Chris. <laughs> A-Hole Productions. Uh, but this is cool, actually. You get Chris Redfield here, and uh, he lost. You saw him drop his backpack. That was all of his weapons. Uh, and what I like about this, Chris, is that he's like, all right, my sister's in trouble, and Leon told me where she was based on an email she, that he got from her. Um, so I'm, I'm going to go rescue her. And he didn't bring in a team. He didn't do anything like that. Like That's kind of what he becomes known as later on in the Resident Evil games, like 5 and 6 uh, and the animated movie. He is just like this jock with a super team of soldiers and they run in and everyone dies except chris and like that's the only story they seem to be able to tell with chris that even happened in resident evil 7 actually um all this team died except him so it's nice to see him just go solo just kind of john mcclain this to find another living person left on this island who Check are this you out. i came here looking for a certain girl a girl have you seen anyone named Claire Redfield? Did you just say... Claire? You know who she is, don't you? Don't worry about her. I helped her escape. Several planes <laughs> took off from this island not long ago. While I can't say for certain, she was probably on one of them. Yes, yeah, so here's Rodrigo, the dude we helped at the beginning. I guess my sister owes you. Thanks for helping. Everyone's gone. I may be the only other person left. Go on. Dude, he's, he's all alone on this island. Sister and get off this island. Even though it's going to get hot in here, I'm going to shut my window. I think there's some neighbors out there talking on their balcony. And my mic is strong enough to probably pick that up. Oh, shit. Oh, this thing's still alive? Oh. Wow. <laughs> welcome to uh welcome to Ashford Island, dude. Two submachine guns are placed here, okay? Gotta right, keep moving. Oh shit. Got him. Come on, big boy. I'm a skank sandwich. You want a bite? Oof. Come on. This thing is definitely taking the bullets. What did we kill him with with Claire? Uh, I think we killed him with a handgun. Gotta stay moving. There we go. Boom. Oh! I forgot he spits that dude up. Did that guy catch any of our bullets? Wow. Warm it up, Chris. I'm about to warm it up, Chris, because that's what I was born to do. Looks like I can meet my family again. Here, take this. What? Very Iron Man-ish, huh? She gave this to me as a token. Uh, Thanks for. Saving makes a friend in a cave, and then he dies, and then he gives him a piece I of metal to send him on his way. A lighter so full circle they uh oh come on um there we go uh look when you're in the antarctic you can't like detonate the, the explosives 
Nice. Uh, let's do this. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff my first time through that I missed because uh, I didn't get the lighter back. And the cool thing is, is you can still play the game without the lighter or without having, uh, you know, the um, the lockpick. Like none of those things prevent you from proceeding through the game, which is great. It's great that there was a ton of optional stuff in here because it made like the second playthrough that much more fun. And the reason Claire didn't think to do this because that little trap door, the, oh, that little hatch with the button on it on the tank, that wasn't exposed before. That was a secret little thing that uh, Alfred had. It was like this was his secret way to get down to his hangar to get to his plane that he could, you know, that that's what brought him to the Antarctic. So it's nice to say set some of that up. Oh, sweet. Shotgun. What up, did I? How's it going, my brother? Oh man, there's the battery. All right, let's go drop this stuff off. What up, dude? Welcome to the stream. Uh, I can't take. Yeah, I can take the handle bullet. Sweet. This is a puzzle that I don't remember. All right. Let's do this. Um, there we go. Yeah, if you're wondering, like, what I was doing, I couldn't remember the order, but... I knew it was something. All right, I'll come back and get you. Let's go drop this stuff off. Uh, I'm doing well, though, uh, Deadeye. Thank you for asking, brother. Oh, wait. Is it it's still open? Oh, yeah, okay, good. I was like, oh, I have to redo all this? All right, so we're going to need that for a puzzle piece. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and save, since uh, we haven't saved yet on Chris's game. figured out. Claire must die. No! She's our sister, bro. We gotta save her. Alright. Ah, oh, shit. Oh shoot! Whoa! Thank God it missed with that. Are we poisoned? Nope. So we'll just take this and use it. Phew! Dang, they took so many bullets. Oh yeah, in this one the the zombies. Uh, definitely take a lot of bullets. I think some of them take like eight or nine bullets. Who is that? Was... So this is the song I was singing earlier. Then one Alexa, day, no, she's already fully awake and clothed. Thank goodness. Oh, little fishy, come see my hook. Chris, <laughs> so, I'm sending some company to keep you entertained. In the non-Code Veronica X version, and just regular Code Veronica, 
this is Consider our intro small gift to Wesker. Enjoy. <laughs> so you get glimpses of him. So it, that's why they're trying to conceal his identity. You're like, wait a minute, we saw him talk to Claire earlier. Why are they concealing his identity with some of these angles? And that's why. Because originally, this is when you first learned that uh, Wesker is the one who attacked the island. But yeah, they definitely take a... Uh, I definitely... Uh, Dead Eye says, I never said I was not a psycho. Oh, that's true. You know what, dude? It's a good point. Um, yeah, the, uh, these... Some of these zombies take a lot of bullets, but some of these zombies can die really easily with a knife. And so uh, you can take them out with a knife. Alright, so we can't go that way. What up, Malicious? How's it going, dude? Welcome back to the stream. How are you? How was your day? Thanks for being here. For more Resident Evil. Boom. Look at that. Carry more items already. Thank goodness. Broken due to the fire. Doing good, man. How are you? I'm doing great, malicious. Thank you, thank you for asking. Oh my god. We're carrying too much stuff. We're gonna have to eat that herb. We need to pick up the doorknob, dude. Alright, bro. But, uh, yeah, so, but I work, I do work tomorrow. I think we picked up the doorknob because I was going to totally leave it. I love doing Wesker impressions because I'm really bad at them. Oh, sweet! Yay! Well, that lucked out. Can't tell which one of these is useful. One. Same as the date. Oh, 128. Right? Didn't it say uh, December 8th on that um, thing? Let's try that. What, what, what else we got to lose? Oh, we did it! Look at that! All right. Always read the files, kids. Well, that's the useful one. We'll take... Clement, E, whatever. Ooh. Great. So this is a poison hunter. See its veins? So if he hits you, you're you're done skis. You get you get hurt and poisoned. Ooh, ooh, I thought that thing saw me. That was a close one. So if those things see you, a hunter shows up immediately. Uh, that is what Wesker is using to detect where you're at. Um, where are you at, Rock? Where are you at? See, last time in Resident Evil 1, it was Wesker that fixed the doorknob for Chris. Now Chris is fixing his own doorknobs. Progress. So yeah, there we go. Ooh, ooh. Couple of close calls here. Eventually our luck's gonna run out. Alright, so we put the lime in the coconut. 
Holy shnikes. Jeez. Oh, thank goodness it's under the lasers. Build a bridge to Alexia. Of course, I must kill everyone who's involved in the construction of the bridge after it is done so that no one will know about the existence of our mansion. But that is okay. So I don't know how they hid this mansion on this island. People had to have seen it. I think someone even says they looked up and saw, saw like, a mansion and they saw a woman's figure in the window. Like, I guess some other file, I think, says that. So it's weird to me that he tried to hide a mansion on their island. But just shows you how paranoid and creeped out he was. Um, I guess he didn't want anyone making advances at his sister, which uh, <laughs> would have been making advances at him because he was dressing up as his sister. <laughs> oh, snap. Long time no see, Chris. Wesker? It's still alive? <laughs> <laughs> that laugh. What are you doing here? I came for Alexia. Who? An organization hired me to capture her. Wait! You attacked the island! And my sister! Ooh! And this is where we find out exactly what's up with Wesker. Although they kind of ruined that with the Claire interaction earlier, but that's alright. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the most forced laugh, laugh ever. <laughs> you have no idea how much I hate you. You destroyed my plans. So now I've sold my soul to a new organization. Now die. So now you know why Chris Redfield like started taking steroids. Because he was like, I'm not going to be manhandled by this dude again. <laughs> Chris, I figured out that your sister is now in the Antarctic with Alexia. It's too bad you won't be seeing her again. Thanks for the exposition. <laughs> Alexia? And so, yeah, I'm a little confused about the timeline here because you see when we get to Antarctica with uh, Claire and everyone, there's already a zombie outbreak there. So you're like, well, how does that, you know, how's that work? Like, who set that, who set that outbreak out? You know, like, who, who, who caused that outbreak? And we just never know. <laughs> I could just never, never say. All right. Do we have room for... We do, because we... So after all that, this is how you finally get those bolts that we saw way back earlier when when Steve first saved uh, Claire, you saw like those bolts up there. Yep. We need to find a save room pronto. Nice. All right, now we can finally walk down here. Nice dodge, Chris. Oh, what up? Oh, whoa, are we out of bullets? Yeah, we are. And we have no other gun. You gotta be kidding me. We... What? 
We have no other gun on us? That makes no sense. Come on. That's, that sucks. Before we go in there. I think there's some weapon enhancement we can do in here. Oh, there's that chemical. Alright, we made that. Perfect. Modify our Glock. Nice. Alright. Alright. Alright, made it. Whew. Yeah, so those watching later on YouTube, I think I edited out like five deaths <laughs> uh, facing those hunters. There's just no way to beat them for me right now. I'm not, I don't, I need the shotgun or an equivalent weapon. My handgun's not doing enough damage and those arrows, if I, if they hit, can kill one of them. Which that was as most as we could do is kill one. I figured I would just shoot until the music stopped. <laughs> and it worked. Jeez. Two of them, I'm... You know what? Why are... So these are Wesker's guys. Um, I've mentioned them before. These are like you... You... Um, not UBC? Yeah, maybe it is UBC. I uh, know it's not UCB. I know they're not, not the Upright Citizens Brigade. Oh, shit. Come on. Oh, my goodness. We have exactly three inventory spots. We can take all three of them. It's literally the last thing we need to do on this side. Turn around, Chris. Okay. Shit. Just run. 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 Whew. Okay. Uh, but what's up? I can't take him. Welcome, dude. Good to see you again. Yes. One more. No 
there's an herb over there. Perfect. And shotgun shells. I think two shotgun shells. Did I, is that what I saw? Yeah, dude. Oh, man. The sun will come out tomorrow indeed. So, yeah, this boss fight, quote-unquote, I don't think we actually have to fight it. I think we just got to go and get that blue crest. Oh, shit. Oh, my God, I forgot about that hallway full of spiders with poisons. Let's take a... <laughs> Let's herb up. All right. Yeah, so that's what we're after. That was the thing Claire used before. So that's and that's that little salamander thing that she saw when it was like a baby. That's it. Ha! I was like, oh crap, I can't pick up the shotgun. Nope. Done and done. <laughs> What's up, dude? Welcome back. Good to see you again, Unseen. Came just in time for me to wrap up this episode. Uh, but if you're here live, you know what? We'll play. We'll at least play one more. I don't know if we'll beat it tonight, but we'll at least try to play one more episode. Um, so what we're gonna do is we'll wrap this up. I'm actually gonna stop the stream, and then we'll come back uh, right back with the next stream. Like, won't even miss a beat. Oh, it only takes up one inventory spot. I'm an idiot. Oh well, that's okay. Um, so yeah, we'll come leave. Just hang out in the ch in the chat. Uh, this is going to be where we end this episode, so find out what happens next time on Resident Evil Code Veronica. Gonna burn some muscle. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you all in the future. Peace. This open window can lead somewhere or nowhere. It's up to you. What do you mean, who is this? It's Chris. Why won't you believe me?